Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is episode 24 of your NHL 20 franchise mode here with your Chicago Blackhawks. Today is the biggest episode in franchise mode history. Not just that, in the Chicago, um, Chicago franchise. This is a big time series because we're facing up against the Dallas Stars. But we're starting to see an aging between Jonathan Taves and Patrick Kane. Uh, Jonathan Davis is 35 years old, slowly uh, has been deteriorating down to a third-line player. Patrick Kane still as lethal as he is uh, as a 35-year-old and still playing as a godly like that he has been playing. And, and right now, he's playing like it in the playoffs. And in four games, he's had nine points and just been absolutely ridiculous. Everybody on this team has been playing like a team. And I've been enjoying the way that this team has been playing. As in the last episode, we beat the Ducks in four games. We had some fantastic goaltending. We had a shutout streak for almost three or six periods. And it was lethal. We went into Anaheim and we kicked their ass. That's what we need to do against the Dallas Stars who are slowly deteriorating just like us. We still have a pretty good team. We still have a young team, uh, but we have some older players. Some of our older generational players are getting up there in age. But the Dallas Stars, they still have a great first line. Philip Forsberg, Tyler Sagan, and Jamie Benn. This line is deadly and this line has killed us. Every single year that we've walked into this playoff series, this team has killed us. Their second line, you got Zach Hyman, Radik Fasca, and Denis Gurionov. Another line that could possibly kill you. They have that physical side to them, and they're going to go out there, and they're going to bash some bodies. Then you got Dante Heinen, Joe Pavelski, and Michael Dacall. A very veteran kind of second or third line with Joe Pavelski, Heinen, Michael Dacall. Some goal scoring support in that line as well. You have Mikhail Bakker, former Chicago Blackhawk player, now playing in Dallas. Maximum Latunov, and then Frank Vertruno. And in Dallas, they're defensively. They got Mirhas Ganana and John Klingberg, two top two defensemen. And then Kevin Shattenkirk, Eslin Lindell, who struggle a bit defensively, I would have to say, in both Lindell. I mean, Lindell's not that bad, but Kevin Shattenkirk does struggle. And then Thomas Harley and then Ben Sherratt. So not the worst defensive core in the world, but not the best. And then Malcolm Subban, who has been struggling as a starter for the Dallas Stars. He has an 898 and a 3.38 goals against average. The Dallas Stars, they could sure outscore you. But, man, do they, are they not able to keep the puck out of the net as they beat up the Colorado Avalanche in seven games in the first round there. Um, we swept the Anaheim Ducks. I mean, we did face an easier an opponent. But in the end, Dallas Stars, they fought for their lives, and they won. But you got to remember, this team is going to be first-line dominated. If we shut down that first line, we can win this series. We have all my advantage, so this is going to be a huge advantage for us. I'm not waiting any longer, okay? I feel a little bit nervous, and I hope you guys do too, because this is a huge series for us. This is a series that's a must-win for the Chicago Blackhawks, so let's get right into it. Chicago, Dallas, biggest series yet. This is going to be the most watched series in this NHL playoffs right now, so let's get this underway. No shots in the first minute. It's going back and forth, but first period, nothing in the first period. Shots are practically identical, 13-11 for Dallas. Second period, one nothing. Tyler Sagan, power play goal. The power play is going to kill us. Adam Bach was big goal in the power play, and that's what I mean. We can both make each other pay for taking bad penalties, and that's a big goal there from Adam Bachquist in his first point of the playoffs. That's a huge one. Shots are prime. They're dead even right now. They're going back and forth. Five minutes left. Philip Forsberg gets a big one from the point, and oh, and he gets another one as the Dallas Stars, they walk away with game one, and that's what I mean. The first line, they can make you pay. The, they got, the, all the goals came from their first. All right, boys, that is a rough fucking start to the series. And we need to get the depth going right now. We get our depth going. Because in the last series, we weren't able to get it going. We need to get it going now. If it's not going to get going, we're not going to win a series. And that's going to be a problem. So, Team Meyer is going to go alongside Jonathan Taves and Nick Patan. Pierlini, Strom, and Goldubin. That is my idea there. Uh, Depth-wise, defensively, I think Orlov, Bockwist. I mean, we want to keep the defensive core the same. Hannafin and Bockwist are our two best defensemen, and they were doing well in the first round, so we're going to keep them together. Game two, big game. We're, we're, we're in United Center. This is a big game. We're in Chicago. The fans are going crazy, and Dante Heinen scores on the first shot. Fuck me, man. Second period, 2 nothing. 
This is not good. Second period. There we go. Fucking hell. What the fuck is going on here, boys? Six to four. Kane got two goals, which got tied up the game. is 2-2. Jamie Ben made it 3-2. Gagne tied it right back up. Forsberg got a goal. Then Old Dooman got it tied right back up. And then Shattenkirk and Pabelski. What a fucking period. All right, boys. We got to stop taking penalties here, man. We really do. There we go. Big goal there from Kane. It's been a goal-scoring fest. All we need is one more goal to tie this game up here, boys. We just need to continue this goal scoring fest and get another one here for the boys. We cannot go down 2-0 in the series, man. We cannot. Get that. Come on, boys. Get one more goal for the team. Empty netter. Anything. Fuck, man. We really cannot be losing to the Dallas Stars once again, man. We cannot take that sacrifice again. Matt Murray, you need to step the fuck up, buddy. You need to step up. That was a two bad games, but we need defensively we got to work on that what can we do i think uh to make it more of a shutdown jeff petrie maybe goes up and then hannafin with petrie and then echo with mccowan i think that works orlov balquist hannafin petrie matthias echo because yeah okay we'll go hopefully that will make things better all right boys we cannot go down this easily to the dallas stars we got to get some sort of a victory First period, big victory there, or big goal there from Jonathan Davis. What a way to start off the first period. Second period, four to nothing. That is what I'm talking about. Balkwist, McCowan, Strom, the depth from the defensive core. Four to nothing. Even in shots, we just got to shut down the Dallas Stars. We know that this team can claw back from a three-goal deficit. We just got to keep the puck out of the net, and Matt Murray plays solid for us right now. We need this big victory to keep ourselves alive in this series right now. Oh, big goal there from Ekholm as we get the big W against the Dallas Stars. 6-1, to one. Kirby Dak buries one. That, that salt in the rune. That is what I'm talking about. Taves, what a way to start out the period. And then Bockwist, McCallum. None of the first line. We really need to see the first line to start generating some offense. And uh, we're going to keep the lineups the same. But I feel like we need to kind of replicate what's going on with their first line. Because what's going on with their first line is they bolstered up that first line. And we could do the exact same fucking thing. In the past, we have done that before. DeBrenka, Strom, and Kane. We need to go with that. We had a good game last game. But we need to change things up just to surprise the Dallas Stars. So we're going to go with that heavy first line of DeBrenka, Strom, and Kane. Let's see how that works. First period, one nothing. Dylan Strom, 20 seconds left. In the first period, he gets a big one. Shots are even. Second period, 1-1. One one. Jamie Bang gets a big one for the Dallas Stars. Come on, boys. Give me a solid one. Give me a big goal. That's what we need right now. And Brustwall, I need you to play solid for me right now, buddy. Power play. Can we get a big goal? DeBrinket power play goal. Let's go, boys. DeBrinket buries one on the power play. And that is a huge one to give the Chicago Blackhawks a lead. As will we be able to walk away with a victory? Yes, we will. DeBrinket power play goal. That is huge. Fourth goal of the playoffs. And he assisted the one that started the game off. Dylan Strom. What a way to win that game. It's tied up the series 2-2. Two two. That is what I'm talking about. We're going back to Chicago with the momentum on our hand. Let's continue this, boys. Let's continue that momentum. Team Meyer. Patrick Kane. That's what I'm talking about. Shots are dominating. Matt Murray has been playing fantastic. Let's go. Second period. Oh, we've had three periods where Matt Murray is not landing a single goal. Timmy Meyer again to break it on the power play once again, boys. Look at the shots. 32 to 16. We are dominating right now, boys. Let's keep on going. And let's keep on fucking dominating the Dallas Stars, our divisional rivals. 40 to 20 for shots. Let's keep that lead going, boys. Matt Murray finally did a goal. Matthias at home once again. Big goal from that big man. What a fucking series we are having against the Dallas Stars right now, man. We are staying competitive with this team. We're playing fun hockey. Kane with the sixth. Man, look at that. Timmy Meyer. He, ever since we put him down in that depth, he's given us some depth goal scoring. Everybody is scoring. All calibers are going right now for the team. We're playing some good hockey, and I'm liking the way that we're playing. Jacob Galvis, the Rockford. So we have the series lead 3-2. to two. The Edmonton Oilers have moved on to the next round. It's the Dallas Stars 
game six. We're in Dallas. This is a big game. If we walk away, we're going to be moving on to the third round for the first time or the second time with me being GM. So let's get this going, boys. First, Pierre. Oh, fuck me. That is not what I like to see. Second period, 5-2. to two. Noah Hannafin's giving us a chance. But, I mean, down three goals. We got to get off to a quick goal and make a quick comeback. That's the only way I see things working out for us right now. As it looks like we're going to be going to a game seven against the Dallas Stars. And that is not the way we want to go about things. As Kirby Dak gets his uh, to make it kind of close. But, I mean, they really kicked our ass in the first period. That's not the way that we should be playing. All right, boys. All right, guys. This is a big game. Jonathan Taves, Kane, this is a big game for you guys. You guys are getting up there in age. We need this victory tonight. This is game seven, the biggest of them all against the Dallas fucking Stars. This is a game that we need to walk away with. This is a team that we need to fucking finally prove that we can beat. So let's walk in and let's win this series in the first period. That's what I'm talking about. Nikolai Goldubin. What a kid this is. We picked him up in free agency to see how well he'll do for goal scoring. He gets us the two biggest goals. And Goldubin, a fucking hat trick. This kid is a hero. Nikolai Goldubin. The fans are chanting his name right now as he puts up a hat trick to give us the lead and practically give us the victory. As for the, first, the second time since I've taken over as GM, we're making it to the third fucking round and against my favorite team and the Edmonton Oilers as the Chicago Blackhawks have defeated the Dallas Stars 6 to nothing. Fuck you cunts. Let's go. Gold Demon. What a, what a night. The depth. The depth. This is what I'm talking about. Gold Dubin. Three goals. A hat trick. Meyer got two big goals. He was fantastic. What a series. Excuse me. But what a series. But now we're going to be going up against Connor McDavid and the Edmonton Oilers. That series should be fun. But right now, before we take a look at the Edmonton Oilers, let's take a look at our journey to this position where we're at. And why we played so good. Kane, DeBrenk, and Strom. I mean, that line fucking formed very well. And we're going to keep that line together. They were devastating. And when we got to face up against McDavid, that line's going to be in big time need. Timu Meyer and Jonathan Taves and fucking Nick Batan, they were deadly. Timu Meyer was a monster. He was going in there and ripping goals. Hitting that fucking guys. He was terrific out there. Kirby Dak also terrific on the second line with Perlini and Gold Dubin. Gold Dubin was fantastic. Got us a hat trick in the last game. He was a fucking playoff hero, guys. And I'd even put in Chris Tierney. I totally forgot about Chris Tierney. Shit. I was like, oh, yeah. Well, we didn't need Chris Tierney. He'll be back in the next series, though. I totally forgot. I will have to implement him now. I knew I was going to forget him. But Matt Murray, what a fucking guy playing absolute fantastic. Let's put, put Chris Tierney back in lineup so we have him uh, for the next round. But, man, what a fucking guy. What a guy. Wow, what a series this was, boys. What a series this was. Honestly, we're playing so fucking good right now, man. We are playing so well. But now we got to go up against the Edmonton Oilers. And uh, this should be fun. I don't know how much this team has made into the playoffs, but... Fucking hell, man. This is going to be a tough one. Uh, Connor McDavid, the last time they made it in was uh, last year. Uh, they made it into the playoffs a couple years in a row. But this is the team that we're going to be going up against. The first line, Jesse Pugliarvi, Connor McDavid, and Kaylor Yamamoto. Second line, Kirill Maximov, Leon Dreisaitl, Evgeny Dadanov. Uh, the third line, Marcus Foligno, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Brett Ritchie, which is a very scary third line. And then Vladislav Kamenov. Neo, Ned Joffrey, and Taro Heroes. Wow, this team is deep and they are devastating defensively. They got Oscar Kleppbaum, Darnell Nurse, Ethan Bear, Nikita Zadrov, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, and then Matt Benning. Not very well defensively. I mean, Kleppbaum, Nurse, yeah, but then you kind of just kind of detrail down from there. But this team could kick our ass. And in goaltending is Darcy Camper and Stuart Skinner, who Darcy Camper has been absolute terrific. So, this is going to be a big matchup. McDavid versus Kane. Who will win in the third round playoff? Actually, the last time we were in the third round, we were facing up against the San Jose Sharks, and we lost. 
Now it's our turn to make it to the Stanley Cup Final and take on the Edmonton Oilers. But for right now, guys, that will be for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next episode where we take on the Oilers. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.